But the shalom sauce on your pants would say differently, I feel. That's true. That's, also, <laughs> that's just splooge. I got excited. I haven't had I haven't had a bagel in a while. All right. Well, we just got back from Bell's Bagels. This is my brother, Seth. He's going to be joining me for all the future bagel reviews now. Thank you. The reason why I did these bagel reviews is actually because of you. You know that, right? What? Uh, because, what was it, like a month ago, you had Sam's Bagels, which was my first uh, bagel review. And you tell me that you found a bagel place that's comparable to New York, New Jersey bagels. And I call bullshit. I stick with that. You've only been here for four months. I drew the duck blue because I've never seen a blue duck before, and to be honest with you, I, I wanted to see a blue duck. I feel like it's it's kind of it's easy to find another bagel spot. You can't you can't screw it up if you find a good recipe. You don't think it has anything to do with water? You think the whole water thing's a myth? Pizza, bagels, New York, California water. You don't think it has anything to do with the water? I don't know. That's, that's kind of tough. I feel like it has something to do with water, but I feel like you can also get a good bagel recipe without it. Okay. Well, here are our Bell's Bagels. Uh, what did you get? I got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a salt bagel, because I like salt bagels. And I got a bacon, egg, and cheese on everything, uh, excuse me, on a sesame bagel, because they ran out of everything bagels. Now, we got there a little late, but it looks pretty good. This looks pretty, pretty fucking good, actually. A lot of cheese, a lot of cheese, nice egg. What I did like about what I like about this place is that it looks like it's an omelet where Sam's looked like it was made in like a like a cup. You know what I mean? Like they heated mm -hmm. up in a microwave. I this was that. on a grill. Uh, and I got I don't know what the hell this is on it. It's grease. Is that bacon grease? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Alright, so it's not grease, there's some sort of sauce on it. No, yeah, it's like a buttery. It's like a butter, I think. Mm. I feel like it's like a mayo mustard. I don't know. I gotta look it up online. I didn't. I didn't ask for any. I just said bacon, egg, and cheese on a sesame bagel. Look, cheese, but I got 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 cheese. I don't mind. So from my perspective, I got the salt bagel. Mm -hmm. There isn't much salt on it. It seems like the salt has rendered off. So whether that's from the heat or the grease, it's melted into it. So you can still taste it, but it's not as you want this as much as the. As the sesame bagel, so I don't mind it either. This is pretty good. The sauce is throwing me off. I want to know what that is. Yeah, we gotta look up what that sauce is. Enhance. 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 Sh ah, it's shalom sauce. Aha. Aha. It doesn't say what shalom what it is, but it's called shalom sauce. I guess you bite into it, you're like, hello? Hello? You're like, shalom! Shabbat shalom, motherfuckers! Your bagel looks good. I got it's completely covered in sesame seeds. Mm hmm. I hate when bagels, if you're getting a topping and they kind of skimp out on that, especially sesame seeds, I really like the flavor of it. That seems like it covers it completely. You get a sesame seed flavored bite in everything you Yeah. When you, when it, and it's really good. And here you can see here, this is what the shalom sauce is. It looks, it's like this brown buttery. It seems like it's got some pepper in it, you know, but it's really, really good. Um, the bagel itself, I like the, like the firmness on the outside and the softness and doughiness on the inside. And again, I like this whole sandwich. Frank, I know that you had an awesome time. Okay, I think the entire town knows that you had an awesome time. Man, well, I normally, I normally take a bite or two and then rate it, but I ate the whole fucking half of my sandwich. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give this like a seven, I'm gonna give this a seven one. I feel like that's a good, I that's think, a good rating. Yeah, what about you? For, I haven't had Sam's in a while, so I'll stick with Sam's and harp on that. You think, would, that you think Sam's is better? I think Sam's is better. Why do you think Sam's is better? What did you have at Sam's? I had a bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. Okay. And that might maybe it was, was it was I ate it right on the spot. So I got it from the and I ate it in the car. Okay. Just got, went straight in my car. It was again crispy, warm. The steam was still coming out, so everything was still melted and and hot. If nothing was congealed. Sam, 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 Sam. Sam. So I ranked Sam's. Like 
six point six, six point seven. Okay. It's right in that ballpark. Okay. Bells. This is the second time I've had it. This is the second time you had this. This is the second time I've had okay. it. Okay. And I had it when they first opened. They're new. They're in Highland Park. Oh, see, I didn't know they were new. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when they were new, they were just selling out left and right. Um, so you had to like order in advance, and we did that, and it was pretty good. I think it was hyped up for me, and it still remains kind of even. There's nothing exciting about it. So I, I'm around the high fives, mid fives. So I'm gonna go five, six. Really? Yeah. But that's true. This the shlom sauce wow. does give it a little extra. So that, that's a good point. I guess it's still a high five, maybe just five point five point nine. Wow. Okay. So I'm I'm literally a whole point point one higher than that. Okay. So I had seven one. You got five point nine. Uh, you know, everyone can go. What? If you look, I got. Do the you want to try bagel. mine? Yeah. Let's, let's, okay. Let's, let's switch. switch. But remember, I I like when there's the seasoning of a bagel that you got. Everything sesame or salt is covered in it. Sure. When it seems like maybe the salt has rendered off, that could be the issue. We'll but. try this. Try this and then you can re-rank if you want. So let's go. Sesame seed bagel pretty good. Did it change your score at all? A little bit. Because this, I'm not, a, it's not, I'm not a fan of salt bagels, it's just it's too much salt. I like the texture of the sesame bagel better. Yeah, me too. It doesn't, it doesn't throw it into where Sam's is in my opinion. Okay. But it pushes it in the 6.2 range, so it's still below. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> Or yeah, I, think I it's mean, the, the covering of the bagel. If I had this bagel, I probably would have given it like a, I probably would have given it like a low six, high fives. I just like the sesame a lot better. I really wanted to try that everything bagel. So I think the everything bagel would have been fantastic. But uh, yeah, I gave this thing a seven one. You gave it a five nine. Next week, uh, we don't know which one we're gonna try yet. If you have any recommendations, whether it's in LA or not, okay, comment below. Let us know where we should get your bagels from. We'll order them. We'll make our own bacon, egg, and cheeses have to if they're not from L.A., all right? Or if you're in L.A., let us know where your bagel spot is, and we'll go check it out.